All right, welcome back. Today I'll be reacting to the uh, U.S. Space Force boot camp. Um, as you guys know, just recently, I think December 20th of 2019, um, we have a new branch, a new Department of Defense branch. Um, it's Space Force. And uh, it's going to be interesting to watch this first Space Force boot camp. Um, so let's check this out. Recruits, first of all, thanks for volunteering to defend our nation, and congratulations on being the first Americans to enlist directly into the United States Space Force. If you'll raise your right hand and repeat after me, I'll administer the oath of enlistment. I state your name. General Thompson, I'm not sure if he is the do Space Force swear. Commander. Do swear. I have to do, do research on that one. Of the United it's Four Star General. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Oh, yeah. Against He's already got the Space Force name tag. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. I like those shirts. That's pretty cool. Looks like a Star Trek insignia. And the orders insignia. of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations. According to regulations. And the uniform code of military justice. And the uniform code of military justice. I wonder what's on the floor right there at their feet. Are those like name tags? Yeah. If you guys know what those things are on the floor, let me know. Is the obstacle course? Wow. Get over it! Get over it! Get over it! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Hurry up! Hurry up! Catch him! Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Now. I joined the military, Air Force, in 1996, go, and we had a confidence course back then, and it seemed more intense. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. I don't know who's yelling if that is an actual MTI, military training instructor, but um, I haven't seen anybody wearing the campaign hat, what the uh, MTIs wear. Yeah, I don't hear too many screaming or yelling at these cadets, or not cadets, they're uh, trainees, basic trainee <laughs> 23, you know, potato, potato. <laughs> at Lackland Air Force Base, okay. Basic military training at Lackland. Yeah, I've seen other boot camp videos, and I'm telling you, um, they have... All the MTIs is yelling. It's kind of interesting that there's nobody yelling at these uh, trainees. Yeah, it looks like they're just <laughs> out there having fun and just, I don't know. They don't look stressed out. That's funny. See that person in the back? I'm not sure if that's an MTI or not. Okay, I'm not sure if I could do those uh, monkey bars with gloves. I, I would have been slipping and, you know, falling into the water. Yeah, just like that guy. <laughs> but well, when I was going through boot camp, we had water uh, underneath these monkey bars. Let's go, let's go. Okay, 
I remember doing that in basic training. That was that was pretty fun. Now, if you guys notice on the left arm, there they have the U.S. flag patches on there. Um, that's what the Space Force is doing. Um, on the Army, when they wear their OCP, they have the U.S. flag on the right right arm. So Space Force, they'll have it on the left arm, and the the name tags, the stitching on the name tags is blue for Space Force. Uh, for regular active duty Air Force, they'll have the spice brown name uh, threading. So when you see them, uh, you'll be able to tell the difference. All right, so again, the US flag on the left arm, uh, that's Space Force Let's personnel. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go Space Force. Field commands, deltas, garrisons, and squadrons. That's what the Space Force field organizations um yeah okay wow and again i'm just going back to how everything just seems so relaxed let's go stay low I mean, could it be because this is the first boot camp for them? Maybe they're testing the waters and and uh, you know, not not giving them too much stress. Uh, maybe in the next uh, few months or next couple of years, they might have real MTIs there. I don't know. And yelling at them, but yeah, they look just way too relaxed. Yeah, you gotta tie them shoelaces before you start tripping. He's got dirt all over his head. Oh man. <laughs> the good thing is, you know, they're wearing gloves, so that just tells me that um, this is in the winter time. So, and if it is in Texas, yeah, it. Um, weather during the winter, obviously, would be you know fine but in the summer yeah doing this in the summer was crazy i went in Ju june uh july of 96 and it was not fun it was not fun in texas during that time entry control points all right ecp As of 29 November 2020, uh, the bases have not been officially transferred to the USSF from the Air Force. Safe. This is Space Force Base. All right, so that's what they're going to call it, Space Force Base. That's instead of Air Force Base, it's going to be Space Force Base. That's just it's kind of like a tongue twister. All right, so I guess uh, the Space Force bases will be in Greenland, United Kingdom. I'm not sure where Ascension Island is at. I know where Diego Garcia is at. Alaska, Hawaii, and Guam. All right, interesting. 17. Full voice. Take six steps away from the sound of my voice. Spread your fingers. Take slowly drop to your knees. Lie down on your stomach. Spread your arms in the shape of a T. Palms up. Spread your fingers. Spread your feet. Face forward. Three. Rear superior. Got it. Two. One. Two. Three. Rear security. DFP three. I wonder how many of these uh, people are actually like new trainees. Because I know there are people that are uh, regular active duty Air Force and uh, they requested to be transferred to Space Force. So I'm kind of curious. Well, I, you know what? Let me take that back because if you're already in the Air Force, I don't think you have to go through boot camp. 
yeah so i i think all these people that's in boot camp right now are actually first time uh uh enlistees Yeah, this got to suck, you know, uh, how everyone's got to wear the mask right now. Seven, huh? Wow. So all these people are making history. I mean, they're like the, the first uh, Space Force people, spacemen. I don't know if that's what they're going to be called. Space personnel. See crutches back there, so somebody got hurt. I'm 31 years old, and um, I love to read. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, training reports is over. Tell you about yourself, and I can't tell you, but you know, you know a little Space bit about Space Force, the right, so, right. Uh, rivet. Person from the Air Force. We'll be teaching you guys all your Space Force curriculum from here on. So you should know. I'll give you just a little bit about me. So again, my name is Master Sergeant Huntley. I am originally from Springfield, Massachusetts. All right, let's see, 2012. So from 2012 to 2017, I was at Buckley Air Force Base, or now we call it Buckley Garrison. I was there from 2012 to 2017 as a space system operator. You know, people in the Air Force that can't join the Air Force because they can't deploy. But you don't deploy in the space. See, I like the name tags, the, the stitching. I think that's pretty cool. You can actually so actually see the, the words because uh, for the Spice Brown stitching, it, it just, I don't know just mixes in with the uniform and you can barely see the the rank and the uh the, the letters on on the uniform so i, I kind of like that uh what else they should have done that at the beginning i don't know why they they, they didn't do that, didn't so. know that the space force was actually a thing until i got the phone call asking me if i wanted to join an idea that was with our current president right president obama president george w bush this is something the space force Space Corps, whatever you want under, like it's been an idea that's been in duration since. That's just amazing. Since, 20 December, uh, December 2019. It's just one year, one years old. Before the Space, Space Force. Force. Then I became Space Force. Crazy. And I will not like even there's people. There's Sixteen thousand individuals assigned to the Space like, Force. All right. So I have the slides up here. Again, I'll just, you can just take notes. Wow, they're also going to get Army, Space, and Navy, and yes, Marine Space people. Wow. How things are set up. How the Space Force is set up. So, what what rumors, what have you heard about how the Space Force is set up compared to the Air Force? I know you guys are in basic training, so you probably have no idea how, you know how the Air Force is set up. Until it becomes a reality, it's just, it's just talk, right? So, the first lesson we'll be going over is Space Force organization. What, what, what does organization mean? Does, does anybody, what, what does organization mean? Just give me, raise your hand, tell me what you think the word organization. There you go. So it's order, it's it looks like everybody's got iPads. So, right? so wow. that is how, so yeah, you can take notes. I wonder if that's an issued have, iPad, government issued iPad or, on your iPad, space hmm. that's pretty cool. America's newest airmen and space professionals, congratulations and welcome. Four star general. In a few minutes, when you raise your hands to take the oath of office, know that our air. Alright, there's the MTIs right there. Are stronger than we've ever been as With you've their campaign our hats. Every basic military training class graduation is an important and inspiring event. As these new airmen and space professionals represent the future of our two services. However, this graduating class is historic. As this is the first class to send seven of our nation's finest directly into the United States Space Force. If I could spend just a minute talking to the seven of you that are joining our ranks, I couldn't be more excited. Yeah, there's for that you. blue threading for name tape and we service are just tape. We're 10 days away from our first wow. birthday, and you are a plank holder in the nation's newest service since the Air Force was established in 1947. I need you to be bold. You will help us build this service from the ground up. You will help us define our warfighting culture. You will build the Space Force as the first digital service. You will lay See, I remember doing this in boot camp. Oh, man, innovative. just standing in that parade dress. 
Yeah, in the dead heat. Ah, oh, it was terrible. Terrible. And you, if deterrence fails, the ABUs will be phased out on April 1st of 2021, so we have a few months left until everybody in the Air Force will be transferring over to the uh, OCPs. But you won't do this alone. You will do this with the airmen you are surrounded by today. As airmen and space professional, our origins will forever be entwined. We share the highest perspectives, the fastest speeds, and the farthest reach. Together, the space and air forces will deliver great advantage to our nation. We will set the joint warfighting standard, and you will help us build two services that together, built on trust and confidence, are unbeatable. So to the entire class, please know how proud we are of you and how grateful we are of your service. You have already demonstrated with the support of your family and your military training instructors. So again, I have to uh, do some research to find out who the uh, the general is for a, uh, Space Force. I don't know. This is General Raymond is the, uh, the, and I'm the commander for uh, Space if Force. If you guys know, let me know uh, in, in the comments below. So but I, I will be searching that you uh, and to Serve find out who the Space Force commander is. Things. I look forward to serving with each and every one of you. So, I just have one question for you. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest air and space forces? Aim high, five fight and win. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction video. This is my first reaction video to um, to anything, actually. Um, but I thought that was pretty interesting on how uh, the boot camp for Space Force was, uh, you know, how, how we operated. Uh, like I said, it was just too, to me, in my opinion, it was just too relaxed. There wasn't any yelling or anything like that. Um, you know, with, with me as an Air Force Junior RTC instructor, we have leadership camp every March, uh, every uh, during spring break. And yeah, my cadets, uh, they go through some suit, they go through some hell during uh, leadership camp. And you know, they're getting yelled at. And again, it's just surprising that uh, these guys, uh, Space Force boot camp uh, trainees just going through the motion and not even getting yelled at getting that stressor in their life. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and again, I wonder if that's going to change in the next few years. You know, maybe uh, they might have real MTIs down there. Um, but if there are real MTIs down there, and if you've already been through Space Force boot camp, please let me know because I'm, I'm really curious on on how that is working out in uh, in boot camp. All right, but again, thank you for watching uh, this video with me. Um, again, this is my first reaction video, so hopefully I'll be able to, you know, react to other videos in the near future. And again, until next time, I'll see you guys later.